This is Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In this clip, we encounter a Karen whilst at a fuel station filling up. He told me to go back to Puerto Rico. And then you still want, and then you still want to try to hit my car? Like a dumbass? What's that? Okay, and you're where? Where are you from? Where am I from? Where are you from? I'm from Arizona, shit out of a war. Yeah. Those are three of the forces. I protect your f Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good yeah. job. Question, why is it always one of the go-to things a lot of people say to people who aren't of white Caucasian descent? Like, what is the first thing is to, oh, you should go home, go back to where you came from. I was like, why is it the first thing? Like, you automatically lose the fight once you start doing that. It's as simple as that. Once you start going racist, that's it. You're done. It's as simple as it is, man. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who wants to return a dead fish and is not approaching it in the calmest way humanly possible. Lady freaks out over dead fish at store. Owner says she is irrational. Listen, this is what, just leave and have your boyfriend come back later. This, we follow directions on this. That, okay? That's irrelevant to this. That You're I'm, irrational. Leave, have your boyfriend no, come back. No. That's your option. No, I, I, you wanted the water, here's your water. That's a dead fish in a bag of water. You wanted it's your water test from bed. there. Leave, you that's your option. Leave and have your boyfriend come back or leave and don't ever come in my store again. I promise Those are your you, two options. you will get terrible reviews about this. Place. That's cool, I have great reviews. I'm Actually, very well respected. Actually, you have terrible reviews. I, have, I just looked them up on my And what's my five star rating? You don't have a five star rating. It's 4.5 out of five. No, you don't. I mean, we can Google it right now. No, you Listen, don't. Leave so, my store and I, don't come back no. or have your boyfriend who's reasonable and capable of you having a conversation. You the water, I'm here. Here you go. Test the water. Either give me my right. money back or replace it. So fish. when I test the water and go it ahead, tests test bad. It. Go ahead, test it. Test it. Are you going to listen to what I have to say? Test it. Leave my store. No, no, you are absolutely it. an irrational human being. Test the water. I'm not going to test the water. You want to Leave the my water store to be now. Tested. Here it is. Are you. Me. No, I'm not. You are a rude person. I am. Very rude. Give me that back because I need a bag that I can fill up with water for you. And I want to make sure you have a dead fish also next to it. Okay? Next to it, not in the same bag. Oh, I'll make sure you have Clearly, the store owners had to deal with her shit before, considering the entire argument that we have here. And then just like when he's like, okay, I'll test the water. She keeps going on, test the water, test the water. It's like, how about you listen to what he's saying, you fucking dickhead? If you're going to keep going on about, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that. At least listen to what the person's trying to say. Instead, you just spent the entire time going on about this and being just a pretty rude person. Like, god damn, shut it. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who uh, needs to return some clothes but missed out on the actual policy. I don't 
Now, is it just me or did it feel like that, that clip repeated itself? Now, is it just me or did it feel like that clip just repeated? Wait a minute. <laughs> It's just like I did just this entire thing. The how she kept going. I was like, oh, but the policy's not in the receipt. Oh, the policy's not over there. Oh no, the policy's not in the receipt. Oh, they're not pol. It's just like, bro, ma'am. I get it. I feel like that maybe there should be a short home variation of the policy on the receipt, so it's there. But at the same time, it's probably one flipping Google search away. They probably have posters somewhere around the store. It may not be big, because I know they like to do that. There is a small A4 piece of paper that's got this massive dialogue of the policy on it. Because I know that the store, retail stores and grocery stores here in Australia do the exact same thing with the policies. <laughs> They're on small pieces of paper right at the bottom of the service desk. So you don't really see it. But it's there. So they can't be legally hold for anything. But it's just like go going around these loops over and over and over again. It's just ultimately gotten you nowhere. And then when you go to... Then you get told, okay... Go call the regional manager. They don't pick up. She loses her shit. She throws the phone and then falls right back into her routine to loop about the receipt not having the policy on it again. Like, in most cases, uh, usually the window's about 30 days for most things. Walmart seems to be 45 days in this instance here, but usually it's 30 days. If you don't return your stuff within the first month, then you're probably not going to be able to get a refund for it. It just is what it is, unless it's something electronic wise where it's got like a year warranty or two year warranty and the electronic dies and then you can get a replacement but that's a different scenario than fucking clothes in this next clip we got a carry who's attempting to throw the book and not only the book but every single book in the book at the police officers to try and get a police officer charged for something hi there hi hi so um sorry I'll, you can go ahead. yeah uh, we are here because we want to file charges against Officer Mendoza because it was uh, an unlawful imprisonment yesterday. Okay. And I'm not sure if you guys know about what uh, the... Pardon me, hold on, please. Yeah. Uh, 602 is the penal code which describes trespass. Okay. Um, there's absolutely nothing in there that would allow the officer to arrest my friend. There was actually two friends that were harassed yesterday. In a public federal building. Yeah, a federal building. Okay. And then uh, we just want to make sure that you guys know about uh, Title 42, 1983, okay. um, which gives us the ability to strip you of your immunity and sue you. Okay. Uh, and then there's also Title 18, 242, which is deprivation of rights under color of law. Okay. So when you guys have taken an oath to the Constitution, 
and you violate our rights, these are actually criminal charges that we can file against you. Okay. And uh, I, I know you've got a lot of things to do, but we have a lot of things no, to do. No, I understand too, that. Right? Is, yeah. Okay, and uh, Title 18 241 doesn't really apply yesterday because that's conspiracy against rights. Okay. Um, but you guys can be. Uh, Fine. Okay. You can be imprisoned, and then there's even more uh, serious okay. uh, uh, penalties that we can file against you. So uh, we would like to file charges. How okay. Do we go, how do, how, and that's why I'm okay, here. Okay. How do we go about? And doing that's that? why I'm here. So okay. that's, I understand that's a lot, and you guys have a lot on your mind. Um, no, I would I, say we're probably just a well-informed, okay. yeah. well-educated, peaceful people that are sick and tired of having our rights violated. Okay. So um, we want to hold you guys accountable. Okay. I was told you were requesting. Was that sergeant. Terry? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Terry his no, supervisor? That's chief. Okay. Okay. That's our chief. In a matter of thirty minutes, if I, is all I'm asking of your patience. Okay. Um, it's going to be no sooner than that, unfortunately. Okay. okay so kidnapping is not serious enough that's not, for you that's guys. Not what I'm it's trespassing is more serious that's for them. Uh, right. Saying. Okay. But okay. you guys showed up yesterday within one minute. No, no, no. To, no, uh, to arrest my friend for trespassing, and you, I mean I'm, I'm clearly. Clearly, you don't even know what the trespass means, the 602 penal yeah. code. I'm um, telling so you. So I want to be able to that hand you. that over, but 30 minutes for I'm unlawful imprisonment you. and kidnapping is not serious enough for so anybody I'm, to come over here. I'm telling okay. you. Okay. One is not available until two. I see. Okay. The phone that you continued to call was tying up emergency lines. Okay. So I wanted to this contact you guys. I understand. We've that. been trying to do this since yesterday. Okay. I understand that. But you called, you made a uh, call for service and it was registered but i wanted to speak with you to let you know that you do not need to continue to call into call into call okay because you will be helped it's okay, just a matter well, of time we do need okay. to continue to call because this is a serious crime that we need to and we have other things to attend to too yeah, so we do we can stand out here and wait i have we've been made to wait for half an hour because you're report, requesting to speak with to a supervisor. report a kidnapping but you're requesting to a, speak with a supervisor this is a kidnapping okay do you understand that no we this we want right to press here. In Title 18, 242, it says I'm including you know kidnapping. That a supervisor will we be were made to wait to half an hour to report a kidnapping. And everything like that. Did you, you guys take an oath to, to the Constitution? Okay. I'm just letting you know. Did you guys take an oath? That the person to... you want to speak to will be available at two. Okay, you're dismissed. So can you send him? Stop can you send him? Can Can you start the paperwork on? I like to press charges on the post office. Okay. So. So Let's start that. Building, you're going to need to contact the federal office. They have their own. Why did you guys show? Why did you? Is that out of your no, jurisdiction? No, 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 what were you doing in there? Charges. I'm. I'm not too sure about that. Why did you guys show up on a federal building? Okay. So. Why did you guys show up on a? Them, you're going to need to speak. She's them. asking you a question. Okay. Why did you guys show up on they a federal building? They contacted us for a trust. And we're contacting we're you to press charges. I understand so, that. So what I'm saying. So talk your way out of that. I'm not talking my way out of anything. Well then, let's start the paperwork. Let's start it. We're ready. Why we're waiting? Okay. No. But while we're waiting we for the supervisor, said, you can start the paperwork. Let's we start it. We want, we you can't start the paperwork. Country. You can't start the paperwork. All I'm saying is, you have the authority to ask people so many questions and to bully them, but you can't start the paperwork so that we can start pressing charges. We're not having this anymore. Okay. You get it? You we're can, sick you can, and tired of this with you guys. So are you are you refusing to start these I'm, police reports? An unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping yesterday because we have here. Uh, uh, do you know what the penal code is for trespassing? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. What is it? 602. Okay, can you show me anywhere in the uh, trespassing uh, penal code of 602 how it is that my friends um, violated that yesterday? I don't know who, what friend you're talking about. Well, I had two friends, uh, one was actually arrested. Yes. Uh, can you show us in here uh, what he violated in the penal code 602? I didn't arrest that him. That would cause you... Okay, well, you're the he supervisor. He was there. You can show he us. Didn't, he didn't arrest him. But you were there. Okay, well, are you... Do you, you have anything else that you need from us? We want to press charges. Are you... Well, if it's federal law that you're trying to press charges on, are you talking... What, 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 what do you want to press charges on? On the officer and on the post office. The that post office, the, po the post office is the federal government. We don't, we don't do federal government. Then why did you so come here as our come? friend yesterday? Your friend was. No, he wasn't. Just, uh, you can finish. Okay. 
I'm not trying to be rude. You guys want to be rude, you guys want to be rude. But I, as a public citizen, don't have to listen to you guys being disrespectful or rude. Oh, absolutely, you do. You're no, public servants. You work for public, us. Public servants doesn't give you the, doesn't give you the authority to scream and yell at us. So we're not, we're not so yelling. So what I'm trying to tell you is, from my understanding, just so you know that I I wasn't there. I was told he left the building. He was told by the officer to leave the building as a representative of the post office. He came back in and then refused to leave okay. for trespassing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. If you don't leave, then you have to. If you refuse to identify yourself and you refuse to leave the building after being requested to leave, he was arrested. Again, I wasn't there. Okay, so can you explain why it is that you were willing to arrest him, but now you're claiming that you don't you don't have jurisdiction over a federal building? No, weapon? we don't have jurisdiction for what the federal code is. If you have a complaint against the post office, I can't do anything about that. You have to take it up with the federal government. Right? Okay, That's so in other means. words, you can arrest private citizens on federal land. If they've been okay, asked to leave, you, just, you can leave the thing. Okay. But do you know what the guidelines are for the post office? You might want to look those up. Okay, but I just no, no, I, no, I, wait, wait, I I just I just want to be clear. Wait, wait, wait. You work for me. You, wait, wait, you know wait, what you need to wait, hold on to. Let me a finish. Let me no, finish. No. All right, well, okay, so I told you if you're not gonna let me finish, we're just gonna leave. Okay, then I think you should probably take these I don't with need you. Those but like I said, oh, if you if you, you would do. like, you can look on the post office. If you look on the post office, this is Title Forty Two. It gives us the ability to sue you guys. That's fine. Right? That's you have the No, I think that you really need to know about this because we're angry and we're going to do this. This is Title Forty Two. Post office. They tell you what you guys can do. Of There's actually a law. page that says what you're allowed to do. Uh, so you, you might want to look for this. Did you notice that when you walk into the <clears throat> post office, it says everywhere recommended. It no, doesn't no. say it's no. the law. No. You are a liar and a trickster. How shameful. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? See, ma'am, right now you're yelling at me and I told Foreign you Foreign and domestic? I don't care. Nice a belligerent time. woman still has so her you're, rights. So you're Which I told you you guys can do. You're not going to help you us have with any arrest, other We have an arrest report. You guys violence. have become the criminals. Do you guys have anything else Is this you what you wanted when you took it I'm not here to argue with you. Yes, you are. You're supposed to indulge me. You work for me. We're your masters. We are your masters. You are not dismissed. You are the criminals. And you're not dismissed, Evans. You deserve where along the line did you lose your way? Are you not embarrassed about the person that you become? Man, you guys are eating good today. You're getting these never-ending Karen clips that just seem to go on and on and on and on for absolute ever. And wow, that was a lot to break down. And it's actually crazy, to be completely honest. <laughs> And ironically, when it comes to anything to do with police in America, there's a lot of complications to everything about it. Like, there's just so many layers to anything to do with that. It's actually unbelievable. But I honestly think the one thing that I believe I have a good opinion on, I mean, this might be entirely wrong, but uh, I don't think just because the police are technically public servants that you're in charge of their every move and they have to do what you say. I'm, I'm not sure that quite translates. If, if you if you know what I mean, I don't think that quite translates into that. Like, let's be real here. I mean, there's literally been court rulings that the police do not have a duty to protect you unless you are in their custody, which is honestly one of the more interesting things to have seen with this entire thing over the years. But ultimately, this is just an insanity of a clip. Just this Karen goes on and on. Like, they were there for probably God knows how long, just harassing the hell out of them. And the police are just like, well, that, that, that's their right to. Cool beans. We're just not going to argue with you. Bye-bye. And move on with their day, which is fair. <laughs> that, but it doesn't sound like they're going to stop. So it is what it is, I suppose. In this next clip, we got a Karen who's standing in the middle of the aisle in a shopping center and decides to not move because she needs to take her time to select what she's grabbing. Aww. We got someone who decided to wait in line for a little bit to go to a checkout, but decided they needed to go to the toilet. So they went to the toilet and came back and upset the line continued on without her being present. Whoops. We could have been done already. No, she couldn't. She has a million items. She couldn't. She couldn't. That's not me. You wanna take that? How are you gonna resolve this? I mean you just laugh? I can't hear you. My love, we're keeping it, you guys. Keep your hand, that's it. What? We're keeping it. 
Okay. I'm not going to let her go because that's just right. not right. All right. Can you call this phone manager, please? Unbelievable. Are you just letting two people that were behind me, in front of me, I have to stay in line all over again? No, you told them to put the items and they're putting the items. My items are here, she's not letting me go. All you needed to do is tell her to let me go. You have another person there. I have to go this way. You're oh. not allowed to film. I could do whatever the fuck I want. I don't know who told you that you could tell people what they can do. But that's not how it works. You're telling me what to do. You have no education. This is honestly hilarious because this Karen just thinks the entire world revolves around her. So if she's going to go to the toilet while standing in line, uh, everyone's going to have to stop doing what they're doing and wait until she gets back from going to the toilet. Uh, I'm sorry, honey, but that's not how the real world fucking works. The real world's going to move the fuck on. People are going to keep doing their job because people have got places to be, honey. If you wanted to keep your position in line, you should have gone through, brought your shopping first, hold your piss, and then go to the toilet after you've done that not just uh, go to the toilet and then come back and complain when the line goes on without you you fucking dumb fuck